What's going on, everybody? This is Ernie with CGS, and we're going to do part eight of our Walking Dead Let's Plays. Uh, we're sneaking up to those fuckers' camps that, uh, or camp, that uh, they were shooting arrows at uh, me and my buddy. And going to see what we can see. We'll fuck shit up. Yeah, check out that fucking tent. Nope. Clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. Cool. Just take shit. Nothing. Empty. What the fuck? like they expected to be here a while. Just water. The fuck's he doing in that tent? Nothing. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Nothing but fumes. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Alphabet soup. Mm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Alright, what the fuck am I missing here? I've looked at everything. Boxes from the dairy here. Oh, okay. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. Yeah, you they fucking... Gun, I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. I bet there's footage on that camera of uh, this farm people being fucking shitbags. What the fuck am I missing now?
Isn't that Clementine's hat? I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice soft arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the fuck? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> oh, shit. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind. For us. <laughs> God damn it. You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Thank you for shopping. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Cool. Crossbows are sick. Come on. I want a crossbow. Was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. Yeah, this farm's fucked up. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Missing every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then. Why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that short. A little testy. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. 
I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Trying to figure out what their angle is. Hmm. Hmm. Really can't think of anything. The cannibals. They're going to eat us. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? <laughs> I don't know. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motorhead who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably not. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. <laughs> You're welcome, I am a you good daddy. With me? Nah, but you go on ahead. She looks skinny. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh... He probably talks a little more than he ought. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. We're gonna find some dead people in these. Nothing in there. Mm -hmm. I guess now. Hmm. Okay. What's in here? Dairy box. Empty. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Don't have any good clues yet. found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? 
What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal on those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Oh, shit. <clears throat> get a screwdriver. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. <laughs> oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. <laughs> Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Because <laughs> I'm urban? You think I can just pick locks and shit? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about you. Oh shit. Hey, uh, Making up excuses. Hey, don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hmm. <laughs> Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. You right back, Doc. Oh, I don't have a screwdriver. Eh. Uh, shit. Shit. the fuck I got him out of the barn way too soon huh means he's not gonna fucking looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes Ooh, smells pretty foul fuck You know what? I kind of backed out of this room too fast. I didn't really look around. Yeah, there's nothing in here. What the fuck? Fuck, I like got rid of him way too soon. I still can't get that lock off the door. Hmm. You probably just need a screwdriver or something. Yeah, no shit. Where the fuck is one? Hmm. 
I don't remember seeing a box of tools or anything. Anything? No, not really. Mm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. How are the kids? They're doing okay. I never did thank you for saving Doc from the walkers, back at Herschel's farm. Gotcha. Andy will be back any minute. Please hurry. Need a fucking screwdriver. False alarm. I'm back. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. I need a fucking toolbox or some shit. Oh, I see one. I fucking got you, dude. As unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. All right, here we go. We're getting in that fucking door, man. I tell you what. I tell you what. Oh, I can't use that one? Fuck. So, where do you keep the rest of the tools? Well, if you need something, just tell me what it is, and I can get it for you. Eh, not that important. Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while and raid our stuff, even with the fence. Alrighty then. How the fuck do we get rid of them now, man? Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Alrighty then. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. <laughs> All right, so now I gotta get him out of here because I fucked up and didn't get this tool first. What the fuck? Bullshit, man. I fucked up. Hmm. How do I get him out of here? Today, my 
girl here. Oh shit. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. You got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are lucky you're on this side of the deal now. I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage. Some bloody clothes. Things happen on the dairy. Cut myself darn bad just the other day. Blood everywhere. You seem okay. I'm tough. You really like that girl. What's not to like? It's just a gun. That's when you're wrong. This is Charlotte. Oh. She's as faithful as oh, a shit. Hound when you got a bone in your pocket. I'm gonna go wait for supper there. It'll be a good one. This dude's fucking crazy, obviously. We'll uh we'll finish talking later. That fucking dude. Fuck him. You've been getting along with Larry. <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. <laughs> Still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Your boy is nuts. Before she died, we met a woman out there in her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Means you can't trust them. Any of them. I think I'll go have a look around. Kind of peaceful out here, isn't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters crying against the fence before too long. Hmm. There's some fucking serious shit going on. It's becoming clearer and clearer exactly what it is. I do not know. But I gotta call it quits for this one. We gotta get that fucking dude out of this barn. I gotta figure out how to do that. But uh, I'm gonna stop this one here. Rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you liked it, man. We got a whole lot more coming, so stick around, right?